thank you for coming to our webinar every Sunday, unfailingly, and always sharing and also uh, we are, yes. we are now live streaming and recording. Please proceed. Okay. Thank you very much. You are all welcome to the webinar this evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Hello. I'm Zolwila Williams and I'm from the UK. I am moderator today. Thank you for all the fans that keep coming to, you know, to and to add value to they have every Sunday. We value and welcome to all our leaders as well, not just from all over the world, but also in-house leaders, you know, are here with us. So without wasting such of your time, I'm going to follow Brother Red to give us the update. Red. Uh, hi, Melanie. thank you for me. Great to be here. Thank I'm going to you. turn my uh, video off because my uh, connection is not very good, I'm afraid. Uh, one oh, question no, is... No we can hear uh, voice out, That's fine. Is this uh, public or is it founders only, just to make sure? It's, it's, it's in public and only, please. And also we're live streaming on 20... We are streaming okay. on 20 channels. That's absolutely fine. I shall make sure okay. that the proprietary information from the updates is kept out of this then. Uh, if, you are a found, if you are a founder and uh, you want to know the full details of the uh, recording and the updates of what Ash Mufara said on the Thursday night uh, founders only call, if you log into your back office uh, underneath updates on O leaders, you will find the written updates and also there is the recording. I do suggest to everybody, even if you were on the call live, you go over there and give it another listen. It's amazing how much extra information we all pick up by listening to it again. Why? Because the first time we listen, we are listening intently. Uh, to Ash speaking, but it actually doesn't really sink in. The second time you listen, you are listening with a purpose to get as much information out of it as possible. So that being said, let's kick off then with the recap of the CEO's uh, webinar on Thursday and a few other updates as well I have for you on top of that. So uh, Ash came on, he was pretty much on time as well, which is fantastic to see. Uh, he wanted the webinar to be recorded. Why? Because he said this is going to be shared with uh, the lawyers and also the US government. And it's likely in the future to be pub, uh, viewed by the public at some point in time. So we want it recorded so that can be viewed by as many people as possible. He also came out with a disclaimer. This is going to be, I think, a new thing for our CEO uh, that he wants to make sure that what he is saying OK, is true. He said, I'm here to share the facts on the corporate side and to be transparent. What we have for you is much better than you thought. He said there has been more dark nights than brighter ones. We have sustained many attacks at all levels. Most of the damage, unfortunately, we suffer in the last couple of years were a result of founders, unfortunately, or actually some company staff. And as a result, we will not tolerate negative comments or shady agendas in the future. For a founder, all you need to do is to be ethical, transparent, but above all, be accurate. He then went on to talk about Marty De Garmo. We all love Marty. What a fantastic person he is. He said that he is a leader to be trusted. I can 100%. He's honest, he's blunt, but above all, he is ethical. He also went on to say that no amount of money now can intrigue us to change our directions of philosophy, character. He said, we must know our true leaders. We cannot have average. Average is just not good enough, not for the money or the investment, but for the integrity of the company. Do we need people who are above average as a debt-free company he said and thanks to god we are in a very powerful position and we could build five more on passives if we wanted to he said starting next week this that is this coming monday by the way guys that's tomorrow we are going to have another brand new website and guess what's going to be happening on thursday 
yeah, we're going to have another website on Thursday. So next week from tomorrow onwards, Mondays and Thursdays, we are going to have a brand new website. Now, we did talk a little bit about this as well, why we are bringing these websites out now, why we are moving up to two a week and then subsequently going to one a day. All of these websites that you see in your back office under the My Link section, those aren't going to go to waste. All right. All of those will be used in the future and they are building up having a different website every day. So this is what it's all about. It's about trialing, about uh, the company working in the background to see which websites work better than other ones and then adjusting each website so that the next one comes out, has all of the credentials involved in it so that they know that that one is going to work a little bit better than the one before. It's a win-win-win situation for us as founders. Uh, he said that this will all be added to our domain names. OK, so I've talked about this at length with many people. It really is time for us to start thinking a little bit about what domain name we want our accounts uh, uh, added to. Either your name or something to do with what on passive is about uh, so have a little bit of think of that so when it comes to the time to have a domain name you know which one you want to use if not then the company will give you a few suggestions and you can pick one uh, he said then there will be a website every single day on that domain name the many things being done behind the scenes the Four to 500 different products that are getting worked on at the moment will have major impacts on humanity. These historical inventions will be there for the hun for hundreds of years to follow. These have financial rewards to it, uh, not only for us, but the company as well. And this is what Arm Passive has accomplished so far. And he said, foremost and secondly, the many folks who have sacrificed so much to put on Passive where it is today, I thank you all. He said, uh, just the offices in Burj Khalifa and the Hyderabad offices and others not mentioned yet is staggering. Uh, to know their potential outcomes, they will produce already. We've come such a long way, guys, in four years. It's amazing to think of many of us who were here at the beginning to where we are now. Uh, it is absolutely mind boggling. He went on then to talk about the products. If you remember, he talked about the products towards the end of August. We'll have uh, 10 over market value. He said, we've got a couple more sprints uh, to do to make these products uh, over market value. At the moment, they are market level. OK, two more sprints, he said, and they will be above, above market value. He reckons that each sprint will be around about two weeks. So I'd look, I think we're probably looking mid-September-ish, I would imagine, uh, for when those are ready. Remember, this is a fluid situation, guys. Not set in stone. We have to make sure that we are fit for purpose. And what does that mean? It means that we have to be ready for any scenario that is put to us. What we don't want to do is to crash and burn at the first hurdle. We have to have every single scenario covered and that means testing, testing, and more testing. He said in the month of October, OConnect will, will be above Zoom value. Now, we haven't got the full details on this yet. It, that we don't know if that, this means that OConnect will be launched in October, or it means that the value of OConnect will be above Zoom. Obviously, we will have more details on this from our CEO as time moves on. He said, the uh, O-Connect itself, he kicked back a couple of times because he wanted more features. But right now, it is a recorded webinar. It can be played back with interactive voiceover uh, facilities, has whiteboard capabilities. And there's two more features uh, which he wants to be added to. And that is language accent filters. So it'll pick up people's uh, language accents and a teleprompter capability. Boy, do I need that at the moment, I can assure you. Um, 
upcoming events as well in September. Hyderabad is going to have an appreciation event for maybe up to around about 2,000 staff and maybe some founders and family as well. Uh, details of this will come out uh, shortly. And also, uh, we're going to resume the laser advertising on the front of the Burj Khalifa. Again, more details will come of this. Talking about the advertising in uh, Dubai, Yes, we haven't seen any advertising on front of the Burj Khalifa, but all of the other advertising, if you remember, I think it was on the second time of the uh, live that we did in Burj Khalifa in uh, Dubai, when we had that tour around Dubai and all those billboards, all that has continued. Nothing on that has finished. So we've been in the shopping mall, we've been in the snow dome, we've been in the Sea Life Centre etc all of those screens those led big screens we have been continually advertising behind the scenes even though we haven't been on the burj khalifa itself there's also some exciting news in november he said on passive will be one uh no i can't say that sorry uh marketing man pains will continue in india Dubai, USA and other locations. Uh, news for that will be coming very, very shortly. Uh, next week, uh, a friend of his, I think his name was Roy, who's one of the big marketers in the States. He's worked with him on many, many occasions. He's coming down from Canada uh, and they're going, he will be going to Orlando. They're going to do some brainstorming, uh, talking about traffic generation, pay traffic, pay packages, etc. will all be discussed and be on the table. I know that he's worked with this guy on many occasions. I know he's one of the top uh, traffic generators and marketers in his in the field. So that's going to be really good news. And I expect uh, we will hear something from our CEO about that as well. Uh, he said he mentioned, remember, about the 90 days. Uh, this was a couple of weeks ago. And there's going to be four new operational locations outside of uh, India. Uh, these haven't been released to us as, as yet what they all are, uh, he said, uh, but that was two weeks ago. And since I said that one is already ready, uh, but he didn't want to announce it just yet, just that. But what he did say was he said, if you want to think big, think time square big. OK, so get your thinking caps on for that one. He also said that within a few years, we are planning to have our very own market merchants and banking system that is going to be all AI driven. Now, we've talked about the merchants before. If you remember, Mohammed Kamal came on a webinar a few weeks back now, maybe a month or so. And he said that uh, we are already into 196 different countries with uh, six different payment uh, facilities within the merchants that we are using already. Now, I know behind the scenes that the merchants that they are using, and there's going to be a few of them, uh, they have to have the facilities for the amount of volume that is going to be coming into on passive. You know, when, we're not talking a couple of thousand dollars here. We're not talking about a couple of million dollars here. We are talking about millions of dollars coming in and out on a uh, almost hourly or daily basis. He also said there's a, a another uh, excellent security measure to the merchants that we are doing, and I'll get into that in a moment. But one thing's for sure, guys, is that the banking system or the merchants is the only third party user we have. Everything else is all in house. We've got the data centers, we've got the technicians, uh, we've got everything else in place except for uh, the merchants that we need for uh, the banking facilities. Uh, I know that he's very keen to get this on board. It's not something that's going to be happening overnight. It will take a few years. Uh, but once that is done and dusted, then we will have no influence at all by any third parties as far as our passive is concerned. So it really is uh, great, great news that we are going down that route. He went on to talk about Omail. Uh, this is going to be one of the free services. I also believe that Onet is going to be the other of the free services. What's that mean to us as founders? It's big news, guys. You know, uh, Gmail that we all use now and all of the other mail services, they're all free. 
Uh, Omail is going to be exactly the same, but more importantly, it's going to be far better than what is out there right now. And just one simple text or email sent out to all of our lists saying, I'm now using this, take a look at it, click here, it's absolutely free. What do you think the chances of any of these people clicking on it and having a look? And what do they have to do to have a look? All they've got to do is put their name and email in there. What's that mean for us as founders? They are then part of your genealogy, part of your team. Whether they then sign up now or in the future, it doesn't make any difference. They are attached to you. And he actually gave uh, one of the examples to do with this about Onet, and that is YouTubers. Now, I'm a YouTuber myself, and I know how much work has to be going into it on a daily basis to keep your rankings up, to keep the subscribers up, etc. He said, if there is a YouTuber who has, say, a million followers, one video that they put on Onet, he estimates that 250,000 of those one million would go and view that video on Onet. And he reckons within one year, on passive would be able to convert 125,000 so half of those 250,000 to buy one of the products or services of on passive just one product not multiple one that is massive guys absolutely mind boggling this is what keeps me awake at night time probably you guys as well of thinking about all the different variables at our fingertips that we will have with on passive let alone what the company is going to do for us but what we individually can do for ourselves in our own business within our passive it really is mind-boggling uh he said there is also going to be a capability within the uh o wallet to link multiple accounts into one account making it much easier to manage music to my ears this was uh, many of us have got multiple accounts, but be, uh, to be able to link the O wallets into one area rather than having it or to log into each of these accounts separately to view the O wallet, having it all coming into the one place. Wow, that is brilliant. And it's going to make life so much easier. It really, really is. Uh, what else do you have to say? He says finalizing ways of inbound and outbound monies to be separate and uh, multiple ways. This is fantastic for security. Why is it great for security? Because if by any chance, and I'm not saying this will happen, a hacker gets into the accounts, because they are completely separate, it means that that money is completely separate. So even if he gets into the inbound money, he can't get into the outbound money. Normally, one account does inbound and outbounds, and they can just wipe you clean. If you've got separate inbound to separate outbound, it means that there's got another layer of security to get into to absolutely to do anything. So it's big, big news. That is what a breath of fresh air to have that as well. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm sure the tech guys are going to be talking at length uh, about that, of how important it is and how it's all going to work. He said, constantly developing of multiple financial solutions to handle future influxes until we have our own merchant capabilities, like I said, and then we are completely independent. He said, what is going to unpack, what is on passive going to give you? It's going to give you the most value of your life. There is no other company that gives you this amount of value. And the last thing he left us with is. Did you know that we are working on an AI menu bar tool? OK, this is being developed right now. How it's going to work, what it's going to look like, I have no idea. But I know one thing, he doesn't want to have the standardized menu bars that we see on the left hand side or at the bottom or at the top. He wants this to be artificial intelligence, fluid moving uh, and something completely different. But the kicker is, guys, that it is only going to be proprietary and only for on passive. OK, so before we even see it, it will be um, copywritten. It will be patented and everything else on top of it. So nobody else can copy it. So that was the updates from the uh, webinar on Thursday night with Ashmu Farah. 
as you can see, very, very exciting stuff. There was a couple of little bits in there that I couldn't talk about. Like I said, log into your back office and you will have those details. Other things that have been going on as well, as far as the back office is concerned, maybe it doesn't really apply to you guys, but from the leaders that post in our webinars, we now have uh, editing and hyperlink facilities as far as the webinar section is concerned. If you remember, uh, for a week, 10 days now or so, we haven't been able to hyperlink any of the links for webinars, so people can't click on them. We've got those facilities. That's been updated, and that is in the back office. And also, ONET every single day is getting more and more bits and pieces uh, to it added as well. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Uh, I hope it has been enjoyable. Sorry about my video, but I wanted to keep uh, the audio as best I can because I'm very unstable here. Uh, back over to my sister, Funmi. Thank you very much, Brother Red. That was really, I don't know you do it, but you are indeed, you hold that title, Mr. Q&A, and I don't think anybody can take it off you. If they try, I, I think personally I'll fight them. And I think nobody fights you anyway, and nobody will try to take it you. So thank you very much, Brother Red, for that. I will now call on all the old tech brothers to give us a presentation, please. I'm, I'm keeping off my video as well because I'm not home. I'm out, I'm abroad. So I'm trying to make sure that I make good use of the I have here. Thank you very much. So who's going to start, Brother Collins, Brother Oliver, and Brother Vincent? Who's yeah. going first, please? Thank I'll, you. Our team. I'm going to. Okay, thank you. Okay. Your, your sound too is a bit, uh, your your sound is crackling as well, my, just like my okay. Wi-Fi. You yeah. might have to take your video off. All right. Yeah. Me. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank that... you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, too. much better. Much better. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. So... The, the whole of this week, we've been talking about um, a particular topic, which uh, Mr. Ash Mofara mentioned. And we just say, yeah, we should take that topic and then try to discuss, see why on Passive is um, in a league on its own. I think that topic is really broad and it touched every areas of on Passive. And that's why we are here. So we've been discussing this topic throughout Friday Night Live. Uh, we went to PNG, we talked about it. Um, o Tech Pro today, we talk about it, and today we just want to highlight why we think Unpassive is in a league on its own. You know, when we look at it, it is true that Unpassive is um, in a league on its own because you look at the quality of founders. First, the founders are all of high quality. We cannot deny that. What makes us excited? We are all excited, even though we've not started receiving a dime. But if you look at the way the founders are excited, it's just in another planet. There is no way you go to a company, even those they call themselves reseller, if they are not making a dime, they'll tell you, forget it. Why should I be happy for something that I'm not making anything? So there is something magical in Unpassive. And that is why we are all excited, because we know what is to come is, is even bigger than what we, are, we can even imagine. You know, the difference and the disruptiveness of the products is also a different ball game. You know, the whole ecosystem from data center, you know, to the digital products and the physical product we know. We started in Bosch Khalifa, you know, we didn't start it in the garage. That's the value. Again, the way Mr. Ashbofara value the, 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 the employees is mind blowing. There is no way they treat employees like 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 even like brothers that's what mr ashbofara do he treat them give them gifts you know anytime they perform there is something for them so it's is value so he value the customer he value the employee value customer value resellers you know even again we're talking about humanity you know i will i remember in a webinar i think somebody said something that people will try to you know look into our model and try to copy it and see what they can do but what came in my mind was yes everybody can look at that and say yes we can do it but first do you have the heart to do it 
Are you ready to go through that pain like Mr. Ash Mofara? Are you ready to sacrifice for humanity? You know, are you ready to give so much value to the customers, to the employee, you know, whoever will come and participate? Are you ready to give them that value, much more value for less? No, because most of these companies, they are money driven. They are not, they are not value driven. And that is why they cannot even come close. So we are on a league on our own. We are running on a different lane. You know, like Magi Digamo said, we are number one and all the other companies, they are fighting to be second. Because first, it is about the value. Second, it's about, you know, it's about humanity, value upon value upon value, from the products to everything that Unpassive is doing. You know, Mr. Ashmofara put all the, 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 the founder, you know, above him. You know, he, what he's doing, he wants to promote us. You know, a company that promotes you, not you promoting the company. He works for on our behalf. Do everything so we can easily get much as 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 possible to support our 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 family, friends, and our our community. That is the reason why Unpassive was built. A company with crowdfunding application. That's value. Crowdfunding where one hundred percent will be given. One hundred percent will be given for a good cause. No company will ever do that. So if we look at it truly, Unpassive is in a league on its own you no know, they are running differently because the way it was designed it was about humanity it wasn't profit driven though yes they want to unpassive will make money but where would the money go to to the founders you know to the founders those who have come in and participate founders resellers and even customers will, will, will have value business a place where business problem will be answered is unpassive that's the only company the company that can provide much as much value to the business, to every business, their business who, who are willing to, to use our product, you know. And again, when they come and use this product, because the value that Unpass will provide for them will be so much, you know, so that they will never even want to, 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 to live on passive. A company who is that is designed to build and build and build until we die. Even a five-year child will be able to use on passive products. So I will leave it there. I will not talk too much, but. It shows that Unpassive is in a league, a different race. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Bra Collins. Um, Bra Oliver or Bra Vincent, do you want to add anything to that, please? Okay. Uh, thank okay. you, sister, for me. I will right, go before then. Brother Oliver. So, Brother okay. Oliver will hand. So, thank you. I will hello to all the participants, those who are here, and those who are watching us from uh, YouTube. Thank you for being here today. And also, hello to all the great, your passive great leaders and heroes, great leaders, because the heroes, because of them that we are here. And then this webinar is made because of the heroes. So thanks to all the leaders, heroes, leaders. So to start, I'll talk about a league on passive in a league of it is own. So, this is a great topic we've been talking about for the past week. So to start, uh, I'm a visitante. I'm calling from United Kingdom, and then I'm your friend. I'm here to help. So today we're talking about on passive. So what is on passive? So on passive, we talk. Uh, on passive is an artificial intelligence technology company where it's built also uh, fully autonomously with uh, SaaS uh, product. So SaaS is the software as a service. So our technology is built fully from that. And also by the latest artificial intelligence uh, technology for our global customers. So this is uh, well, uh, at, uh, on passive. It's not only that as well, because on passive also bring a competitive advantage on passive also bring the innovation and then also the fresh perspective to business as well. So on passive is also technology challenge. So we have all this in on passive. Then on passive also accelerate the innovation because when we talk about innovation, we talk about transform, transformation of businesses. So our innovation is to transform businesses and then also from strategy to design, implementation, and then the management because we do all this. So this is on passive. That's why on passive 
is a great company and still be a great company. We have uh, our well, uh, range of uh, artificial intelligence products. We have uh, so many products. So the aim of this is to transform the global uh, enterprise as a digital product. So we have uh, a lot of digital products. So our innovation is to transform the digital this digital transformation and then the strategy also to reinvent the business model just to help our customers to have a better operational and then also to have a better customer client experience so this is what is all is on passive it's not also stuff there on passive is a the total value game changer so i know my brother oliver like to say this word is a game changer artificial intelligence technology solution so we use it for and then this technology we use the technology we also use the technology to adapt and not to, to scale our business and then for also help our customers or our client to be successful outside there and also to connect you to the world so this is uh, the main thing the main strength of on passive so on passive is also a business to help using the latest technology to help his customers to have a full potential in the market. So on passive is also an, a, 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 on passive is powered by IT solutions. So on passive simplify also the complexity of your business with uh, artificial intelligence technologies, the latest technologies. So we have the best tech technology security system because uh, our system is powered by artificial intelligence, which is the best security system in the world. We have a better performance, all the technologies linked together. So artificial intelligence system is based on our ecosystem. So all our ecosystem is based on the artificial intelligence system. Also is a fully automated digital solution. So on, on passive is a digital solution. So on passive is also in uh, over 200 countries, uh, trusted company in the world. So no, every single company in the world we know on passive is there. So we have a, a growing influence in the global economy. And then my brother Andy is there. Andy will also confirm that as well because on passive is going to have a great impact in the global economy. So on passive is going to change the world. And then this change in the world is going to affect even the, econ the worldwide economy. So we have over 1 million funders, so which is bring a, on passive one big platform in the world. We haven't seen that before. A company hasn't started, but we've got one, one, more than 1 1.4 million customers already. So this is a great thing to do. Our ecosystem is over 20 products. So that's 20 products. This is a digital product. We have also a physical product. And then one of our physical product is a data center. We all know about that. We we'll talk about that also before. So this is one of the biggest achievement so the on passive also going to bring also bring also people together because because we are here today because of on passive without on passive we wouldn't be here and then we maybe we should not be in this platform today we because of on passive we see some great leaders and then all people we are here we are connected is because of on passive and on passive is one family bring the technology together bring people together, bring all community together, bring countries, and then bring also a continent together. You know why we are talking now, people are sitting in every corner of the world. They are watching, they are listening to us. So this is a great thing of on passive. So on passive is not only the technologies, it's also the human being. So our leader or our CEO in life, he love humanity, that's why he created on passive. So and on passive is doing a lot for humanity in this world. And then also using all bless is also to bless the whole world and then bless those we need. So on passive is going to change the world. And so it's, we have a big impact to changing the world for the for our uh, coming our coming to the world market. So until then, thank you. I will leave it there. Thank you very much, Bra Vincent. That was excellently explained. I can't take much from it. Brother Oliver, do you have anything to add to this before I go to Brother Andy? Brother Oliver. 
Um, yeah, I don't have that much to say. Calling San Vincent, they said they say, said it all. So let's move to the to Brother Andy. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Brother Oliver. So I move to Brother Andy to give us, you know, the sales perspective of this um, passive being a league on its own. Brother Andy, over to you, please. Thank you for me. Thank you. Um, yeah, wh why is it a cut above the rest? Why is it so different? Well, from my perspective, um, the belief is the system, the system itself. So let's take uh, an email marketer for argument's sake. At the moment, they would need to register a domain name, build a website. They'd need email marketing, <clears throat> need to be able to talk to their customers on Facebook. Now, we have pro products for all of those things. The difference is that once they come on board, they'll see, start to use the products because they'll become a customer. But there'll be a little wallet in the top corner that says, by the way, Mr. Customer, you've got coins in your wallet. You've earned some cash here because as the customer base grows, you're going to get some commission from some of the customers that fall in your, in your group, in your customer base. <clears throat> so, so they're going to get curious and wonder how they can get these coins out how they can take that money for themselves. And they'll, they'll be shown how to do that. But my point being that every single person that becomes a customer for on passive will have the opportunity to have the products that they're going to, to come on board to use to get paid to use those products. Now, what do I actually mean by this? Well, customer retention for any company is massive. And if you've got a company that's paying you to use their products, why would you ever leave? So from my perspective, looking at it from the, from the outside, the system that he has created, our CEO has created, is genius, absolute genius, because the customer retention is going to be 100%. And they're going to start to tell their friends, their colleagues, uh, their email marketing uh, lists, Everybody that they know, because everybody that uses the Internet, and there are over five billion of them today, raise, rising to ex estimated seven billion by 2030, seven billion customers that would use one of our products, whether it be one of the free products or whether it be one of the paid products, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, the the opportunity exists for them to be able to create a, a, an income for themselves whatever that level that income might be or their choice or desire to so every single person that comes on board to use the 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 products initially as customers are likely to then get paid to use those products and once they get paid to use those products all hell breaks loose the customer retention is above everything else and that is why i believe that on passive is in a, a league of its own thank you for me okay thank you very much brother andy i love that that was short sweet straight to the point Excellent. So without further ado, we are going to now go. I don't know if you, if there are any questions, Brad John, that uh, need to be brought forward. Just let us know that is in the Q and A section. So we are going to go to the question and answer. Sister Comfort, are you available there? I know I saw you in to the Q and A section. Sister Comfort. Yes, please. Sorry, I was just trying to adjust. Thank okay. you so much for me. Thanks. Uh, thank you, team. Great job as usual. I really appreciate. This has been just another wonderful week. Another for the past couple of months, we've been going through topics upon topics, but there are some that touch me deep down, like digital innovation we had a week, some weeks ago, like the value that Unpassive is offering. And one of the greatest ones was Unpassive being a league of its own. Great job, guys. And I just appreciate the old tech pro guys and the rest of the team for keeping it really, really simple. I appreciate. And of course, on this note, I want to give a shout out to Skeeter, Skeeper, the artist who just sang. He said something very powerful. I don't know if somebody caught this. He said, when I thought I was going to drop, you made me see light from the top. And above all, if you get it, you win it. So if there's somebody sitting in this room now watching us on Zoom, on YouTube, and you don't get it yet, 
whether you have a, especially if you have a position, you are not a winner yet. So follow up, stay tuned, listen. Subscribe to every YouTube channel we're running on at least 20 now. Subscribe, click the bell because we come up with minute by minute updates. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. So on this note, I always like, I don't know, is Red still here though? Red, are you still here? <laughs> All right, he, he's gone, but I'm starting with this warm up question that I will ask. I may pick people randomly if I can be able to lay hands on one or two people. This is really just a warm up, guys. We know that we are all on top of the top. We feel like, oh my God, I'm just seeing it from the top. I'm all over the place. We're counting millions and billions and all the dollars and, and apples. And all of this, when you look at it, the success, even before we get public, is thanks to great leadership that we have in place, a great CEO and of course, a powerful support system. So I am going to ask, um, Andy, you may go first. So who would you say, what kind of a leader is Mr. Ash Mufare to you? I think it's not a bad idea to discuss this, to open a conversation with this. What kind of a leader would you say Mr. Ash Mufare is? Andy. I think the, uh, interestingly, um, when I first looked at on passive uh, comfort, for me, it was listening to or hearing the first um, uh, interview or, or uh, seminar that he ran um, or corporate webinar that he ran uh, to explain his thought process. Um, uh, being in financial services, I've come across an awful lot of VPs, presidents, CEOs, uh, managing directors, directors, etc., and and. I've never come across a man that has a passion as Ash does about humanity. He doesn't seem to be interested in money in the slightest. He doesn't want to be the next Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. He wants to help and lift, uplift humanity. And that comes through with everything he says. And every webinar that we've we've seen where he's been on, you get that impression the moment he comes on. Uh, and that I love. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, and I think personally, I've never again come across a, a CEO that spends as much time uh, and, and, and as much effort on his, what we would class as employees, if you like, or, or members of the, of the company. Right. And that to me is, is huge. It's such a difference. It's such a, a reawakening that other companies have got to start taking um, notice of. So right. That's wow. you, Comfort. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. That was a great one, Andy. Uh, guys, let's just drop drop some things. Let's see. I, I'm going to have a look, sister. For me, just watch and see what people say, Mr. Star. What kind of leader is Mr. Ash Mufare? Write anything, just drop it here, be it on YouTube, be it here on, on, on Zoom. We need to know, and Ash needs to know what kind of leader he is to the world. And moreover, I've got two people in the house now who need to speak. If you don't know me, I am a very disorderly person. So let's go for what I'm having now. So uh, let's discuss a bit really quick about the ethics and maybe ethos of this of unpassive. And from Ash's words, the people, we have two people in this house whom Ash says they are very ethical. And so they would like to comment really quick. So if Marty can go first, after which Auntie Lynn will talk, how would you describe the ethics uh, of this company on passive? I think we're so big, we need to say some of these things. People need to know who we are and that's just it. So I think it's part of the package. Let's discuss the ethics of unpassive and the culture of unpassive or the, the, the ideals of unpassive. It's, 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 it's read in there, uh, no, um, sorry, Marty, please. I saw Marty somewhere. Oh, uh, if he's not ready yet, because I think he could be busy. Adeline, would you like to go first, please? Yes, yeah, certainly. I'd be happy to. You know, unpassive is based on ethics. You know, Mr. Bafara has always said that unpassive is going to be the correction to the corruption. This is because our foundation is honesty, being upright, being transparent. And that's where unpassive started, you know. And if you compare it with corporations around the world, are they always ethical? Are they always transparent? I would say for the most part, no. Very I'm frankly. partner with Harrington's and to bring you the new advanced science diet and supplements. And the, Better and North, and the, natural enhanced, tailored supplements, adult and senior dogs. 
We apologize, guys. Sorry. <laughs> and Andy was unmuted. I don't think he realized he was. So, yeah. you know, with the foundation of honesty, this is what our company has been built on. And it is always going to be ethical. Mr. Mofara has been transparent with us from day one. He treats us as partners, not as just peons. You know, he treats us with respect and he makes sure that we know what is going on. And this is called ethics, you know? And because we're built on ethics, we are not thinking about what? What typical corporations think about is what? Profits, money, the bottom line. This is not the main priority to Mr. Mafara. So this is why I'm saying this company is different from any other company that exists today or will exist in the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Auntie Lynn. I really appreciate that. Thank you for those ones. Auntie Fumi, I'm just trying to do this to give you room to take a glass of water because you've been talking so much. I'll give you time, right? So don't worry. Uh, um, <laughs> I know you're always patient with me. So let's hear from, from, from the, the, the old tech pro guys, right? So one thing we know for a couple of weeks now, we have been having a new website released to us every week, right? And as it stands from any moment from the coming week, we would be having two every week, which will finally slide onto us having one new website released to, the, to, to us or to the public every, every day. As we all know already, or most people do know, it's not cheap creating a website. So what is the wisdom or the strategy behind releasing a new website out there every day, as, exam as expensive as they are? What is the wisdom behind this? Um, o Tech Pro guys, let me get, uh, Brother Oliver, are you ready for this? Are you interested in this? Okay, let me, let me try. <laughs> Go for it. I know you're oh, yeah. uh, start. Um, this is huge. This is big. This is big. Remember that on Pacific is branding us, the founders. Remember what he, he told us that we are, are we are the ones you cannot get into on Pacific without getting through us. So as they're branding us, and he said we all are going to be known your names your names are going to be out there mm. the website is dynamic that is running on daily basis changes every day branding us every day all those products that are out there on our domain account and those those website those websites are on our domain name what does that tell you this is huge so it brings customers those products are out there also on on the website each of those products, they are running their own traffic. Traffic means customers. Now he told us the other day, on Thursday, a few days ago, that 10 products will be out in one or two springs. Those 10 products, if they are out now in the market, on our website running, separate traffic. This is huge. This is huge traffic. The customers that will be coming to our, to, 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 you know, if there are three, if there are three million traffic, a day, three million customers coming to the whole company a day. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and they share it to us. Maybe um, um, Maddie or Andy, they can, they can, they can, they can tell us that I'm, I'm not a marketer, but for the, 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 the little that I know, if we have three million traffic that is, is coming on those websites, dynamic websites on daily basis, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And we have three million customers or two million cost, customers or traffic on those websites that are turning. Tell me. Calculate, do the math. I will not do the math for you. Don't They're not only... <laughs> sorry, go ahead, bro. <laughs> sorry, I was going to quote you. <laughs> They're, not on... They're not only that. They're not only that. Those websites, you know, that are, okay. that are dynamic, bringing those customers. Man, this is, my, this, is, <laughs> this is my... This is mind blowing. No company will do those websites on a daily basis. What companies... What, what, what they do, they... After four or five years, they just change the color. But on passive, those those website, the content on daily basis, all right, is different. The content, listen, the content is different on daily basis and is running on your domain account. This is mind blowing. I'll leave it there. Good. So thank you so much, uh, brother Collins. Of course, I was asking because I know you have a cube of Maggie in your hand to drop in the soup that Oliver is already cooking, right? Maggie in our country is a cube that cube seasoning cubes. So Oliver, just go for it, bro. I know. 
only they said it well. But I just want to add a little thing. The reason why company always make a dynamic website and it change every day. You know, most companies they do color coding. They can change the color every day, but it's not like really web coding from scratch. But the reason why they are doing that is for to to attract customers. So you know when you when you do something and you change it every day because when you leave it standard you just have a standalone website the website become boring because every day is just the same and people just get fed up or oh, I'm seeing the same thing but for you for a company to come strategically changing the website every day and it's because when they do it they will attract different brand of customers today maybe Collins will not like it I push another new website, comfort, Collins will jump on that website and I'll click on it and buy the product. You know, people have different perspective of looking at things. So the more you put it, you make it different, the more you attract more different uh, uh, different type of customers. And that's exactly what Mr. Ajmofara is just doing, branding and selling, using our website, the new dynamic website to attract people so the website will not be boring. Oh, wow. So that's that's really great. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate that. Auntie Fumi, is anything itchy on your chest now? You want to spit it out? Um, I just have a chat box here. People say she's got turned, he's fearless, he's selfless, honest, he is radiant, he is ethical, he's honest. They said some people said he got sent. So he's transparent and, you know, they said he's been, he treats us preciously as if, you know, we are his children, you know, that can be right. in his eyes. So those are some of the comments I have in the chat board that people said about, um, about the scene. Uh, Ash, actually. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. So uh, this takes us to another question. And uh, Brother Vincent, uh, it's your turn. And I quote you for your words, because you have said, you've made us understand that looking at on passive being a leak of its own, one of the reasons is that uh, um, on passive uh, uh, brings a competitive advantage, innovation and fresh perspective to business. Would you like to break that down a bit so that everybody gets it and finally gets to the top, like every other person in this room? Uh, th thank you, Sister Comfort. Yeah, uh, so I said uh, on passive also accelerating innovation and also transform businesses for from strategy to design, implementation, and management. So what happened is what well, on passive is doing on passive is working because we have an innovation because of the innovation that company keep changing thing and then company keep moving because if you're a company that you don't have innovation you'll be behind because the world are changing rapidly changing especially it uh a world things are changing things are moving so fast and then on passive is in that direction on passive is working also in with the latest artificial intelligence technology like Thursday, our ceo said we the, the new technology we are moving and then they're going to create a menu for artificial intelligence where i know a lot of company no one have done that before and they will be the first company to do that so this is sure that we're working on innovation we're working that innovation also to transform the digital product for the better and then also the best way for our customers to be connected to the world and then this way to do it is going to affect also the world economy because on passive going to bring a positive impact to the world economy because all digital product we're going to put in the market is going to affect the world economy all the digital product even from our physical product everything is going to affect our uh, impact the world so this is the innovation and then that innovation also bring the digital transformation strategy so that digital transformation strategy reinvent the business model also to help our customers to better op uh, operation and then efficiency and then also bring client experience. So this is what and passive know how to do best. So if my brother has someone have something to add it. Okay, thank you, Brother Vincent. Brother Collins, you want to add something? <laughs> oh, I've just asked you to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't get the question when you asked the I didn't get okay, it. I was going to ask that I, 
throughout the week, uh, Vincent has been insisting that Onbasif brings a competitive advantage, innovation and fresh perspective to business. So what does that mean in terms, in so simple that I can understand? Yeah, so fresh perspective, the way I would look at it, that innovation that normally, you, on passive is building the solution that that will make that will ease you know like will ease the way business or change the way business work business use utilize it because remember most of the software when they want to do it is so difficult and they have to buy buy multiple applications to integrate them mm. if they can even achieve but we are talking here that on passive is a solution to business need because if you if you want to build a software for instance like most of the, the old way of building software, the, the software house is different. It's just cut off from the business model. So businesses are there and the software are here. They just build the software and then they try their luck to sell it. But now what they are trying to do now is looking at the business use, you know, the business need of, of others. And then they can say, okay, how do we build it? How do we tailor our software based on business need? Hmm. So it's where on passive is coming. Everything they are doing, they have looked at all those loopholes of the business and then they want to tailor it. That's the innovation now that is playing, that everything is innovated and tailored to business need. Wow. Thank you. Thanks so much for that powerful contribution. And uh, of course, uh, last night uh, or early this morning, uh, I had a powerful one coming from uh, Veronica Weyong of Papua New Guinea, who says, on passive was a leak of its own right from inception. It was a leak. It's not just now we're breaking to it that oh, huh, because we're rich here, but then according to her, it was a leak of its own right from the beginning. Um, Marcian, do you want to give it a try? Go, we've got a team, they'll support you. Oh, are you driving, sis? All right, brother Oliver, you take it. Marcin is your best boo, so you help your friend. <laughs> can I go can I to the question, Oliver? Again, my mind is just, I've been talking since yesterday. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to avoid then, as, as <laughs> much as I can. Then, then, I also, I all also, right, I, I'll let you get a cup of water, a drink of water, yeah. and yeah. let me get there. Let's hear this for, from Sister Gladys. I know she's been speaking, but not as much as the old tech pro guys. I heard from Veronica earlier this morning, which I found very interesting, that we are discussing on passive as a, being a leak of its own this today, this week. However, as far as she's concerned, this has been the case all the way from inception. Is that your, your take too, Sister Gladys? Yes, Sister Comfort, and thank you everybody who has spoken and all the attendees. Yes, for sure, on passive has been on a league of its own from inception because of the vision when this business was started by our CEO, Ash Mupare, we came in for only $97. The package was supposed to be 997 to mm. become a founder, but he said, if I am creating a business which is meant to help those people who have not succeeded in business so that I can empower as many as I can to go out and carry the vision of empowering others. How can I put the price at 997? He realized not many people will come in. So he reduced the price to $97 to allow as many people to come in as possible and ensure we have through word of mouth by nine, paying $97. So yeah. that itself, sets it apart. And then right from inception, he said, you will get your refund anytime that you come for it. Mm -hmm. And for the past four years, people are still, you know, whoever wants to get a refund back, he's giving them, which means it's still on a leg of its own. We haven't seen that before because most businesses will give you 30 days. If you don't ask for your refund, it's gone. That's all I just wanted to add, thank you. Wow, that's powerful. So, uh, Brother Andy, from your own perspective, from your background, would you would you add to what th these ladies are saying, or would you want to debunk it? That, no, we just realized this morning that it's a leak of its own and not from the first day that we started. What do you think? Uh, no, I, 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 I agree with Gladys. The, the thing is, if you think about this, um, <clears throat> a true visionary, a true business leader, 
um, uh, sees a, an initial plan and that plan morphs as time goes on, it gets bigger, um, it grows, and the company obviously grows with that vision that, he, that our CEOs had. So, so we were in a league of our own to start with because of his vision and because of the way, uh, because originally it was just going to be a, a, a platform to help email marketers. And now look at what has been achieved over the over the last four years and, and the opportunities that it pre presents itself for all of us. Without that vision, without that plan to start with, that seed that's grown over time, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, so I truly believe that that uh, yes, we have been in that position from day one, um, and day one when the seed was planted, that's when things started. The magic started to happen. Hmm. Wow, thank you. Thanks so much. Guys, if you're joining us now, especially on YouTube, uh, this is uh, on Passive Heroes. And I think I, I, I just remember now that I didn't say my name. I'm Comfort calling from the UK. <laughs> Jokes, guys. So if you're watching up from wherever you're watching us, check on the link or the YouTube uh, comment section below. You will find a link. If you don't know what we are talking about or you don't know much about on passive, you will see a link there. You click on that link. You will read a bit more. You have questions, drop them on the YouTube, any YouTube channel you're watching on. Subscribe follow up for more information, get involved because this is a very exciting opportunity that is historic. Nobody has ever seen this before. And it will doubt whether it will be ever made done again before we leave this world, our own generation. So it's such a huge blessing. Sister Fumi, do you have something on the chat section, please, or the Q&A section for us? I'm gonna pick on some questions here. Uh, q and &E, I want to look at that. Um, suddenly disappeared on my screen. Um, uh, there's one here. Can I, should I give you time? Should I get one while you search? Um, it's, it's, it's it's been most of them have been answered all right. already. All the other questions are uh, to an extent proprietary. All right. The only question that is here that we could answer is after uh, from a uh, Florence. Is it Malaysia? Said something about it's not related to this topic actually. All right. Since then, we'll just let that go for now, and yeah. then we we'll move on because we've got a few yes. things to address. So uh, on this yeah. note, guys, we're trying as much as we can. Whoever is in this webinar, you are a leader and you have a voice, you can speak. So I'm picking up anybody. So we're just trying to help the OTEP progress. You guys take a breath because they've been talking a lot, which I appreciate. Thank you, guys. You are really doing a good job. God bless you. So um, let me go back again because we have had continents, uh, Latin America, North America, uh, Asian continent continents and countries say on passive is going to radically bless their country or their continent. Sister Gladys, back to you again. Maybe I'll get another person. Would you say the same about Africa? That yes, we are so sure and we're proud and ready to be blessed by on passive. Yes. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Gladys and I am your friend. Yes, Sister Comfort. On passive, has given us a reason to dream again as Africa, Woo. collectively and united. We know that the vision of our CEO, Ash Mufare, when he started this business, he wanted, he said he wanted to, to raise a million Mother Teresa's to go and take the vision of on passive to the world, a vision of compassion, a vision of empowerment. And so as Africans, we are proud for this because this gives us an upper hand that we haven't had before. So we decided to come together to form a movement called Missionaries for Africa. Those are founders who have a special heart for Africa, who want to uplift our continent. And then as they say, charity begins from home. After we start from home, we are also going to be missionaries from Africa to the world, where we are collectively coming together from different countries of Africa 
to address issues that concern us, like the disparity in healthcare access, disparity in agriculture. You know, there is hunger almost half of the year in Africa. And then sometimes we have a lot of rain, but we don't have ways to conserve the water so that we can use it throughout the year. Farmers who work so hard, they harvest, but they have no way to store the food so that they can use it throughout the year. As I speak right now, there's a mother somewhere in labor in Africa who has no access to the hospital because of impassable roads. So we have said this is the chance that we have. We have received the handouts for so long. So it's time for us to stand up collectively united and address these issues. So we truly believe that because of one passive and the vision of Ash Mufare, he has given us a way forward for us to plan to collectively work together, irrespective of what country you come from in Africa, so that we all that carry that vision of love, togetherness, compassion, adhering to the ethics of one passive and carry the vision forward. Thank you. Wow. Well, thank you, sis. That was so, so powerful that I can only describe you as a piece of beauty with great brains. Thank you so much for presenting that to us. And I have to give credit to the visionary who started MFA. People think it's me. It's not me. It it's was okay. Michael Ako, brother, Michael Ako. But he has received a lot of founders who are hungry for this movement. Time for us to stand together as one. Thank you so much. Right. Michael is the most humble person we've ever come across. Thank you, Sis, for bringing this to the limelight. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. So uh, um, let's hear again, uh, Brother Andy, if you can, please. Uh, you know, we hear this a lot and people come back to ask, what are they saying? What about all of these things? On passive is not yet launched, right? And what we say, we are not, we're, long, we're in a launch process. We started long ago. It's just that we're not yet public, but we're quite getting there. And so far we call our, we say it's already a done deal even before we go public. Could you just explain this? And in another, I don't know how simple you would like to make it so that all of us can finally get it and get excited. Thank you. I, th I think Red uses the phrase fit for purpose. Um, what what Ash has done is checked, recheck, 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 um, go over, um, make sure these products are fit for purpose. We hit the market um, uh, with products that that are um, inferior, and then on passive we'll have a problem. So at the end of the day, he wants to make sure that they are absolutely perfect before we go to market. Um, and to my mind, it. I hope it won't take take very long, as as um, uh, the guy said earlier on. Um, uh, you know, a couple more sprints and we're there, type touch. But the uh, bottom line is, it has to be fit for market. It has to be, you know, absolutely perfect to hit the market running. You see the likes of of uh, Microsoft bringing out <clears throat> Windows ten, Windows eleven, and so on. And every time they bring it out, you're forced to use it. But the problem is, it's full of bugs. Mm -hmm. So they keep sending you updates after updates after updates to try and <laughs> stem the flow of bugs that keep cropping up. What Ash is trying to do is to alleviate, alleviate that problem by getting rid of any, any potential bugs in the system before we go to market. That's far stronger. Hope that helps. Wow, sure, definitely it does. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just not going you're always on point. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate that. So uh, let, let, let's hear from, you know, guys, again, what we're discussing here, everything we're discussing here is just to agree to the fact, the topic of the way that on passive is a league of its own. Because all of these things we hear Mr. Ash Mufare doing, uh, our old tech pro guys says, no company has accomplished this. He has accomplished, accomplished this much just for this much time, for this little tiny time, right? I heard you guys say this. And like last week, Collins, you said, uh, we are going to shake the earth because of what we have seen from the beginning, from the inception, from 2018, when Unpassive was born. Collins, can you throw more light on this, please? Yeah, thank you, Comfort. Um, yeah, really, it's true that Unpassive, we're going, Unpassive is going to shake this planet Earth, especially from inception, because we're talking about the products and 
there are things that we don't even know. And based on what Mr. Ash Profara has been telling us, you know, all the functionality which Red have already mentioned in O Connect, mm. you know, in um, O Mail, you know, we, there are things that we know in O Mail. There are things that we've, we've, we've heard in, um, in all the products, almost all the products, our data center, all of those things. So we are talking about a company that will always upgrade the all the products that are that are ready to go to the market. So each year there will be new functionalities, disruptive functionality added onto that product. And again, maybe the same year, new products will come out, products that we don't even know the names. You remember, Mr. Alfred told us there are products that, that, that has already been developed, but now they are thinking of the name to give that product. Mm -hmm. These are the things that will shake the internet, you know, that will break the internet because. Normally, you must, again, to be at this particular point in time, as a CEO like Mr. Ash Mufara, to create something like this, you must be abnormal to be normal. That's how I say you, have, you just have to be abnormal to be normal. Because remember, as Matthew Gambo said, when they invent light, the inventor said, oh, I'll create something like light. They said, how can you create light without consuming someone? Because sun is too hot. But it was done, you know? When they talk about like the other, um, Elon Musk talk about bringing spaceship to land in water when the wave is moving, mm. people think he was mad. This is on passive now. And Mr. Ash Mufara mentioned that we are going to own the internet with our product. So we are different. So we, we cannot compare because he, what he is doing is so disruptive. You know, all connect is just pure example where the functionality, one of the functionality he mentioned that day I said, this is a game changer when it comes to, to, to O Connect. No platform will beat O Connect. When it comes up, bye bye to Zoom. Zoom is there. They'll use it, but you know, Zoom will be shaking because it is just crazy. One product like that can disrupt the whole internet. Mm. Yeah. Can we I are... add? Yeah. Okay, bro. I saw it <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. My mouth is moving. <laughs> Don't worry. Just, just let, let, let's just take a look. The CEO told us um, a few days ago that um, uh, we can release products till 2025. <laughs> this is mind blowing. <laughs> till 2025, look at Facebook, three products for how many years? They had the two, Instagram and, and uh, Facebook. They went and bought um, uh, WhatsApp <clears throat> for $19 billion with all their stocks and the shares. <laughs> But we have products that we can release in 2025, and more will still be coming. More will still be coming. Our products are our products from scratch, but they go and buy products, come and revamp. All of them from Microsoft, Google, all of them. Um, uh, my Microsoft just bought um, a financial product with a, that is a, it's a product with AI only for medical and maybe banking, something like that, mm. it's for them to use. But our products are our products from scratch. We use our hands to build them from scratch. AI embedded, 100% automated integration. That's CACMO. And we can release that. Let me repeat it again. We can release that until 2025. And we will keep inventing, inventing more products, innovative products, disruptive products, above market value. Hmm. Please, my brother and sister, dear founder, tell me. Arrest my case. Yeah, sure. Definitely rest your case because we are fine, right? That's just it. So uh, I really appreciate. There's something we need to discuss this really quick. I will hear a lot. If, if I can have somebody speak from India or Bangladesh or so, I would really like it. If, if there is maybe one or two hands up so that no, I'm, I'm sure. But I'll read from the names though. But I'll first of all pick uh, Brother Fang is looking at me right in my eyes. And Brother Frank, if you can, I've heard some great minds throughout the week looking at Unpassive being in a league of its own. They say Unpassive is going to create paradise for you at home, which means there would be no need anymore to say, oh my God, the American dream, if not America I can't make it, if not the United Kingdom, I wouldn't make it. And according to people who have looked at this topic throughout the week, many have said Unpassive would create a paradise for you at home in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Bangladesh, in Papua New Guinea. Do you agree to that, Brother Frank? 
Thank you, Sister Comfort. Yes, I do. I do. As a matter of fact, uh, um, just imagine what uh, do most of our people back home travel outside? So for greener pastures, right? Yep. Um, look at what on passive is going to give us. No matter where you are, in Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, wherever, as a founder, we are all being paid in dollars. Wherever you are, you're getting it in the equivalence. It's the same. So you don't even need to come here. The same amount that somebody in the US is getting, you are getting your version in your own currency. There's nothing that you cannot do in your local, on your community, or in your country, wherever you are. So wherever your location is going to be a paradise, thanks to OMPAS. So basically, I do agree with that. All right. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. So, can I um, add? okay, you you can add. You can add. Then I will. I will definitely hear from one or two more persons because we need to. We need to discuss this, guys. Bear with me. Go yeah, ahead. Um, look at. Let, let's let, let, let's look at this. I, I just talked about it a few minutes for hours ago. You want to go to school? Yes. O academy is there. Why do you need to travel? Okay, we are being paid with hard currency, dollars. Back home. Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, South Africa, name it all those other countries. India, Bangladesh is hard currency. You know? So if somebody that make a thousand dollars over there, that's that's a lot of money. You want to go to school, you sit there in your comfort zone, in your house, you use academy. You know, you, you there's nothing that you want to travel. Travel to where? Home is home. Right. You know. Just that pleasure and the money that you make as a founder or as, even as a reseller, even as a reseller, you don't need to travel for green for greener pasture. Greener pasture is back home. You make the money, you go to school, you want to have a PhD, master's, you have it with O, with o academy. So there's no need for anybody to travel. Hmm. You know, and you still have your comfortable life. You have the comfort, you know? So it's going to make a lot of people will not travel anymore. Because, you know, they, they will stay back home, have money, have that comfort, go to school. You do, you, you go to school now with what you have passion for. Not, some people go to school because they hear that, okay, as a doctor, <clears throat> a lot of money. I'm an IT guy, a lot of money, but you don't have that passion. Especially people who are in the medical field, you can go and kill somebody because you don't have passion for that profession. But now on passive, that you are a founder, you do what you want to do. You still make your money and you are educated. Thank you. That that was powerful. I really do appreciate that. And then, uh, Andy, if you are there, please let's look at this from the other way around, because we know that see, going after greener pastures or going after better life, what comes to mind first is the influx from the second and third world countries over to the Western world. However, is there anything that people would leave from the UK, from America, and so on to seek somewhere in other countries? And do you think with the coming of on passive that that comfort can be found so that people make it home, given that there is no place like home? Um, I think the perspective for a lot of people has changed over the course of the last couple of years, particularly with the pandemic. So many businesses have gone online. Uh, so many people are working from home instead of going into offices. And I think this change is going to continue. Once we release O-Connect, the world is going to shrink in size dramatically from the point of view that you can talk to someone in Japan and it be automatically translated for them into Japanese. So there are no language barriers or there would be no language barriers. Um, you don't necessarily have to travel. Now, obviously, from our point of view, we know as founders that we're all sorted and Ash has made it very clear, fill your tank and then help others. And I think there's an awful lot of us here that want to be able to help others and will be able to do that purely from the point of view that we will have sufficient to be able to do that with what on passive is doing the whole of humanity will be lifted because of it thank you so much um and finally aunt lynn i'd like to chip in because i heard you give a wonderful contribution on that we just want to educate our people we don't want people to know that this is how much we've got guys aunt lynn go for it can you repeat the question one more time? 
it was just the idea of helping people make paradise at home and not thinking that I can only make it in America because I don't have stuff in my home and stuff like that. Right. Okay. Yes. Good question. You know, I personally get approached about this all the time. Just a couple of days ago, a gentleman in Nigeria messaged me and said, is there possibly a way that you can help me to come to America? I would like to come for schooling or perhaps for a job, but just get me out of this country, you know? And I said to him, well, you're a founder, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, if you're a founder, do you really think you'll ever need to leave your home country to seek greener pastures? Because if you truly understand what's coming, you'll know you can stay put and you can enjoy your family, your friends, the culture that you've grown up with. No need to travel because the greener pastures are where you are. And through Academy, for example, if you, know, you wanna pursue a degree or learn a certain skill, you can go online through Academy. No need to leave the country to pay expensive school tuition, pay for the plane fare and the boarding and all of that. All of that is no longer a necessity with everything that OnPassive offers, the residual income, as well as Academy and other ways that you can use to get to where you want to go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Antilin. Job well done. I really appreciate. So on this note, I would like to um, give room for one or two people to just comment. This topic has been a wonderful one. I know that if we want, we can stay here till tomorrow and people will have to Sorry, guys. People have just more than enough to say when it comes to discussing on passive as a league of its own. So I would call on John Borilla. If you have a contribution, you just drop it. And while you speak, I'm looking for the next person to just contribute so that we'll finally wrap it up. John, are you there, please? OK, he said he was busy, I think. Um, so let's hear from uh, Sister Gifty, speak. On mute and just make a comment. Now. I am here, I am. All yeah, right, so all thank right. you. Um, I don't have that much of a contribution. I've been uh, trying to uh, help in the chat a little bit. And uh, I think one thing I should just suggest to folks is that uh, try to keep your questions on the topic of today and uh, the other questions that are due for our support or customer relations uh, don't need to be here because they're not going to get that, that information today. Uh, and that's all I have to say at the moment, really. All right. Thank you so much, John. Thanks for always being there for us. We really do appreciate that. We appreciate it. Yeah. So I was just, Corinne, do you want to say a word? This has been a sweet topic. Guys, just say really quick so that we round up. We're, 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 we're. Corinne, okay, then let's let Corinne finish. Oh, there was a sister Gifty first. Oh, I'm so over the place with the ladies now. It's no, let her finish. No All problem. right, sister Corinne, now you go first and then sister Gifty and then I'll hand over to uh, my best friend. Sister Gifty could have gone, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for all being here. And yeah, we are, um, I mean, I can't even say enough about what Ash is doing for us. I respect him with everything of my whole heart and all of you as well. So I'm looking forward to meeting you guys and I'm looking forward to September. I can say that. <laughs> I wish you could all be there, but I know you can. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks uh, for letting me say hi. All right. Thank you so much. Of course, we'll be there in spirit. Thank you. Sister Gifty, are you there? Smile. Yes, us. please. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to listen. I've been enjoying, but I think uh, I, I'm so grateful to be a founder and uh, so grateful to Mr. Ash Mufan for giving us such opportunity to become founders. And as we are speaking now, uh, dear friends who are on YouTube who are not founders, it is not over for you. You can become a reseller. Put it in your mind. Pretty soon, the door is about to open for the public. So you are not, I mean, sidelined or you are not left behind. You can become a reseller and you will enjoy with us. 
If you know the enjoyment we founders are enjoying, even though the money has not started coming, but we know what is coming. So we are always happy. So whether you be in Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, uh, Bangladesh, India, if you are not a founder, prepare yourself to become a reseller. And all that we are saying here to be beneficial for you because we know where we are going and we know that we are going to the top. And after the top, Mr. Asmora Farah said, he will create another top for us. So we are so excited. So if you are here and you are not a founder, please make it a note that when we come out, you will quickly become a reseller and you will benefit. Thank you, dear leaders. And thank you, our dear sir, Mr. Asmora Farah. <laughs> That was powerful. Please, thank you so much. We do appreciate okay. that. Uh, please, I saw I saw two hands up after. We, oh, Sister Helen comes on camera. Is there anything itching? You want to? All right, thank you. So I saw two hands. I wish it was disappeared so suddenly. I hope uh, everybody's fine. Oh, um, so, what I did comfort is, you know, we had agreed that this is not a Q and A with uh, hand raising. So once yeah. we start allowing hand raising, the whole group will start raising their hands. Oh, yeah, sure, I, sure. I, I, I think we there. agreed that we would uh, restrict yes, the Q&A section. That's the only raise. Oh. I don't want anybody to be offended that I lowered their hand. It's only because oh, yeah. the format is not a raising hand format. Thank exactly. you for your understanding. All right, all right. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I actually apologize. I was trying to get somebody from Asia speak on a topic that is already over. But then I provoked that. Guys, I do apologize, but uh, let's keep on coming. Let's keep coming, right? So we've got a few more throughout the week. Don't sit there. If you, if you, if you are seeking for any form of information, go back and watch all of the information that has been left for us there by the old tech pro guys. You have them on all the channels and a lot of stuff is happening. So guys, just keep on keeping on, plug in, plug in, plug in, and that's just it. Sister Fumi, over to you. Thank you, sis. I think that Gladys, one of our leaders, wanted to say something. Yeah, sure. Give her that's form. what I was going to say, because I saw her hand yes. off, and I saw the yeah. hand of Apostle Mensah, yeah. and he has not spoken like, so I, I, if you permit, I think we should give them the chance. Guys, I apologize about the confusion. Yes. I think we really do get confused, right? Bear with me. I really apologize. So let's hear from Sister Gladys first, and then Apostle Mensah. Thank you. That's okay. We have to follow them format uniformly. I also apologize for raising my hand. Mm -hmm. I know we spoke about the ethics of our company and I thought we just mentioned a few more to do it justice. As on passive, which is for starting from our CEO, we know that we are a company that values compassion. We value accountability and that we have seen it from our CEO. He tries to be accountable as much as possible. We are a company that values respect we value compliance, and that's why the process is taking a while because the CEO is trying to be compliant with every step. And we value equality. That's why we see it's like one big family that is like-minded as on perseverance. So I just thought I'd put those ones out there. Thank you. That's it. Francis, we really appreciate it. Apostle Mensa, are you there, please? I know I saw your hand up, and I, I would like to Maybe hear it, so we don't have to him and unmute him. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Apostle Minster. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Lane and Sister Comfort. And uh, I just want to digress just a little bit. All right. Um, we, we're talking about uh, CEO Ash and his selfless love for the people. And even when you try to say any word to say thank you he just want to say no i'm not god it's it's unlikely for a lot of leaders like real top leaders to have such an attitude and so as we thank him i just want to also say thank you heroes you've really done a great job if you look through on passive you realize that you have been a great team you see, you, you, you almost all the time saying thank you to this one, thank you to this one. You have been a great team. If you look through Hero, Heroes, you realize that out of Heroes have come, it has given birth to a lot of different teams that are educating 
the ordinary on perceiving. And without you, a lot of us will be in the dark about what actually is going on. Is it the old tech group? Is it the sister lane group? Is it the sister comfort group? Is it the, you, you see how, is it brother Andy is, you, you've really done well sister uh, Fumi and all of you. We say, thank you so much. We appreciate you for what you've done. You have not asked for anything. Nobody is paying you. This has been a selfless love and a teamwork that you have just been doing and you have never given up. Thank you so much. We are proud of you. Wow. What a blessing. We really appreciate, bro. Thank you so much. He's just one of the backbones here. It's just that he doesn't speak, but he's just one of the great ones we have in the house. We really appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah. Antelina, I don't know. Did you want to say something before we let Sister Fumi close down? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Auntie Fumi, take over, please. Okay, thank you very much, and thank everyone, all the leaders, including everyone that I've turned up. Video off, sis. At this week. Video off. Everyone that thank you very much for every to everyone that has turned up for the webinar. We are so good and appreciate all of you for coming. And I'm sure that even if you did not get anything, I'm sure you got something to be from this webinar today because we always give value and we'll keep giving value because our company is on value, uh, you know, above men and we change humanity, over, you know, money. I appreciate and every one of you. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you to all the leaders and all the participants, whether you are attendees on the panel section for me today. And as you know, we, what we always do, and Celine, you help us to um, make sure we can all unmute ourselves. I only need to win it and say hello to everyone. Thank you Stand, very much. And now we welcome back from webinar. holiday. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 Merci beaucoup. Bye, everybody. I'm Marie. I'm Marie. Hi, Boom. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I messed up your whole day. Bye bye. Oh, whoa. Bye. thank you, John. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you. We appreciate you. Okay.